Hi people, my name's Tim Carter and welcome to Krieg 7B. Uh, we're going to be spending a lot of time together on this planet. Uh, here I am, here this is my APC over on the left and here's the troops. I'm inspecting them. Craven Marines. The toughest of the tough. Anyway, here we are. Moving We're back at, at the base. Major. Waypoint added, Major. Waypoint added, Major. I think what Waypoint we got to do is Major. take a little Waypoint time off here. Major. And, uh... You know, we're we're here on the White Assume, I think it's called the White Assume Dune Facility Research Station or something. It's some outpost out in the edge of, of the Craven Control Territory in Creek 7B. Anyway, there's uh, we just defeated a, an invasion, but really there's not a lot of acti activity going on here. So, you know what, let's sign out one of these uh, light pterodynes. Let's go... Okay, Commander. Let's Waypoint go rip up added. the countryside. Added, yeah, let's Commander. go for a drive. Waypoint added. Com Waypoint added, Command. Waypoint added, Commander. Waypoint added. Waypoint added. Waypoint. Waypoint added. Waypoint added, Command. Waypoint added, Commander. Waypoint added, Command. Waypoint added, Commander. Anyway. Waypoint added. Negative. Waypoint added. So. Waypoint added. Com Waypoint. Waypoint added, Commander. Waypoint. Waypoint added, yeah, Commander. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we're done here. Um. My name's Tim Carter. I go by the handle Xfunk Carter, and this is my gaming channel. It's called the Sand Table. Look at this! Isn't this cool? It's just like dune bugging over the sands, the dunes of Creek 7B. One of the games that I'm going to feature a lot of in this channel is this game, Ground Control. Ground Control was released in 2000 and but there's still a small community of about 50 of us who play this game pretty religiously every weekend and it's like 3D chess um, it's a one of a kind game oh, here let's let's send out the other uh, light to do some driving as well when I first got the demo for Ground Control in 2000, this mission was, there were three missions, this was one of the missions in the middle, and this is what I did. I, I was so blown away by the uh, environment and the engine, and the whole 3D terrain thing. I just f didn't finish the mission, I left the last checkpoint undone, and I just sent my lights driving all over the friggin train and it was just like wow this is like really I don't know it's like you're really there you know like you really wish you were there what I'm f focusing on for this channel is military gaming so this is one game which is very, as I said, like 3D chess. I particularly have a close um, interest in this kind of warfare because I, during the Cold War period, I was in university, but I was a reservist and I was trained mechanized infantry. So vehicles like this here, I would have driven, I would have been riding inside a vehicle like this, um, except that we would be training in uh, Meaford. And, but yeah, no, we were training for uh, heavy-duty, high-intensity warfare against the Warsaw Pact. <laughs> and fortunately for me and the rest of the planet, I never saw combat, but whatever. That's fine, we never did have World War III. Um, but it, I guess it gives me a little bit of insight. Um, while I was doing it, you know, I actually have a few pictures of my time in the reserves, but I'll, I'll, I'll share them later. While I was doing that, I was studying film. 
I was a reservist during university film school, and I went and I did indie work as a filmmaker after um, graduating and did a lot of crew work. But basically, I've got an eye for the camera, and I really believe that the uh, camera in ground control, just this particular game, is so powerful that I, I really think that half my commentary just comes from my camera work. It's the same thing if you're going to do a sports channel or sports coverage. Camera work is just as important as talk, talk, talk commentary. So anyway, um, I'll be releasing a bunch of tutorial videos on how to play ground control. Actually, one of them is just going to be on how to use the camera because the camera is very intimidating to new players. But um, suffice to say, this is going to be one game that I'm really going to focus a lot on. I'm going to be focusing also on um, tabletop war games, and there's another game which I really love. I mean doing a lot of level design in this game and that's called Alien Swarm and it, it sort of has a common um, theme here it's it's futuristic military sci-fi in future I mean this game has uh, marines Craven marines and in uh, Alien Swarm you play a marine my um, I've built my campaign so that it's uh, non-canonical so I created my own universe using the Alien Swarm um gameplay and props and so on but um, in my universe you play what's called an off-world drop marine and I'm gonna post a bunch of videos on this channel uh, showing my progress as I continue to make those levels you can actually play the first five of them right now if you go just go to alienswarm.com get that game and then get my campaign which is at uh, prepare to drop.com so so I have these three... Uh, third thing I, I didn't mention. I'm a game designer, and I've worked in uh, game design for war games like this. Not electronically, but um, tabletop war games. Actually, I spent a couple years in the U.S. working in disaster response simulations. And based on my game design work, um, I worked a bit in the mainstream industry, but I've, uh, I'm not very happy with the way they treat design at all in the mainstream industry. But that's a whole other topic.